welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. The headlines. 2023 polls. Crack in the Miyeti Allah leadership over endorsement of Tunubu. The silent war of supremacy between the two leading Fulani group, the Miyeti Allah Kutau or Fulani Social Cultural Development Association and Miyeti Allah Kutau or led by Belu Budeju, are taking a new dimension of accusation and um, counter accusation. Now, there's a war, let's say, a silent war between the two leading Fulani groups that we have the um this Fulani group of the Mieti Allah Kutau or Fulani Social Cultural Development Association and also another Mieti Allah Kutau or that is led by Belu Bodejo. Now they have taken a new dimension of accusation or let's say a, and counter accusation. The Mieti Allah or Fulani Social Cultural Development Association has described the Belu Badejo led Mieti Allah Kutar or as notoriously seasonal endorsement group, parading itself as pastoralist association. Now there's a there's a war, let's say a conflict between these two um uh, Fulani Association group over um endorsement of Tunubu. Now they said there's a season, uh, seasonal endorsement group that is parading itself as a pastoralist association. The association stated in the statement that the attention of Fulani ethnic nationality in Nigeria is drawn to a phantom endorsement of Ashua Jibola Ahmed Tunubu, that's the APC presidential candidate of Miyeti Allah Kutar or a notoriously seasonal seasoned endorsement group parading itself as a pastoralist association. Now, as we all know, uh, the presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Now, this um, war that's happening between the Fulani group is about the endorsement of Tunubu. Now, they are saying that the, the association made this statement that um, the attention of the Fulani ethnic nationality in Nigeria is drawn to the endorsement of the um, APC presidential candidate. And also, a, notorious, a notoriously seasoned um, endorsement group that is parading itself as a pastoralist association. The statement by the Miyati Allah Kutar or Fulani Social Cultural Development Association made available to the press in Bauchi on Monday contained that the so called Miyati Allah Kutar or Association lacks um, the local standee in parading itself as the mouthpiece of the pastoralist and the Fulani ethnic nationality as a whole. Now, the reason for um, all this war or all these issues is because of the endorsement, is over the endorsement of the presidential candidate of the APC. Now, the association, they made this statement in, um, that was in, a, in one of the interviews they had with them that the attention of the Fulani ethnic nationality is drawn to the phantom endorsement of Ashwa Jibola Metunubu, that is the APC presidential candidate of Mieti Allah, Allah Kutar or Now, this statement also, they are also saying that the association made available to the press on Monday in Bauchi State. So they made uh, this information known to the press on Monday and contained that the so-called Mieti Allah Kutar or Association, they lacked the local standing in parading itself as the mouthpiece of the pastoralist and the full and ethnic nationality as a whole. So signed by Alaji Sonny Ahmed and Malam Aliyu Jibrin Isa for the concerned full and ethnic nationality, the association explained that there was no consultation with any pastoralist association in the country by Miyeti Allah Kutar or thus that solo endorsement was done without the approval nor consent of any pastoralist organization in Nigeria. Now, this um, information that was, that was signed by Allah Jisoni Ahmed and Malam Ali Yujubri are for the consigned Fulani ethnic nationality, those that are consigned, I mean the Fulani ethnic group that are consigned, they said the association explained that there was no consultation with any pastoralist association. So they didn't consult anyone, any any of the pastoralist association in the country. So by Miyeti Allah Kutar and also their solo endorsement was done without the approval or nor the concept of any pastoralist organization in Nigeria. So this um 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 solo endorsement was done without the approval. So they were not aware. 
Now, according to the statement, we have 27 registered pastoralist associations in the country, and none of them was consulted before the purported endorsement. It therefore stands known and void as far as we are concerned. Now, all this thing as uh, all this uh, war that is happening between the Fulani group is all about the uh, leadership endorsement of Tunubu. So they are saying that they are not aware that they are endorsed uh, of the endorsement of the presidential candidate of the APC. Now, according to the statement they made, they said they have to insert registered pastoralist um, association in Nigeria and none of them was consulted. So meaning that all the 27 pastoralist uh, association they have in Nigeria, none of them was aware that they, uh, they are before the purported endorsement. So they were not aware, they were, they were not consulted. So they feel that um, it stands no, null and void as far as they are consigned. So as far as they are consigned, I think the endorsement is, is, is void. So they are not, they are, they're not consigned with the endorsement. It is none of their business. We are calling on APC and its presidential candidate to be wary of such handbag organization. History is there to serve as a guide for any informed decision. It's caution. So it's saying that the APC presidential candidate to be very, very careful about all this um, handbag organization. They are, he, he regard them as handbag organization. It could be recalled that the Miyeti Ala Kotar Oil Nasarawa State over the weekend reportedly endorsed the APC presidential candidate Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, claiming to be a national endorsement by the organization. The consigned full and ethnic nationality explained that the Miyeti Ala Kotar Oil endorsement of former President Gulag Jonathan before the 2015 election should serve as a pointer to its lack of support anywhere outside their comfort zone in one senatorial district of Nasarawa state. It is instructive to note that the former president, Jonathan, lost even in the comfort zone of Miyete Ala or in 2015 despite the endorsement of him and his inauguration as the patron, the statement we call. Now, um, back to 2015, that's the um, Gulag Jonathan uh, presidential election, they are, the consent for an ethnic group, they explained that the Miyeti Allah Guter uh, or endorsement of former president uh, Gulag Jonathan election, it should serve as a pointer to the lack of support anywhere outside their comfort zone in one senatorial district in Nasarawa state. So even as the, for the fact that Gulag Jonathan happens to be their matron, he still didn't get their um, support in 2015 when he was contesting for the the election. So they stated that the APC and the presidential candidate should wear, should be wearing of such stancato of endorsement, which is the usual brouhaha with no substance to add any value to the political fortunes of the APC and its candidates. The consigned Fulani nationality stated that it was currently compiling a compendium of its challenges to confront all the presidential candidates with a view of finding which one was going to address its concern and endorse the one that was willing to solve its challenges. The association said Kutau or had breached trust, pointing out that they have personality staring the affairs of the um of the group. Now as a media um okay staring the affairs of the full and ethnic nationality like the former governor Isa Yaguda of Tabitao Palaku International, the national president of Miyeti Allah Katu Breeders and all of that. So all these are their um pastoralist group that they have and also they have leaders there now as a media platform we hold leadership accountable and will not trade the right to press freedom and free uh, speech for a piece of cake if you like what we do and we are ready to oppose solution journalism kindly donate the ripples nigeria course now all this is about the endorsement that was done by um by the Fulani group, and they said it is not recognized, they don't recognize it. So, if you are coming across our YouTube channel for the first time, Independent TV 7, 